Now, what we are going to do is to create a Firebase project so that we can save our collections and rest of the information about our application online so every user can access them. We are going to do this in order to be able to update the categories, let's say in the future, without even updating our application itself. So whenever you want to change or add a new category, you can add it to your Firebase and then all the users will have access to it. So let's go to our browser and I'm using Chrome here and you need to navigate to console.firebase.google.com and then if you're not logged in or registered, just do it. And once you are done, you will see uh, if this is the first time you are here, you will see only one add project button. Otherwise, you will see all your other projects here as well. What I'm going to do is create a new project uh, called this market. Okay, uh, I need to accept the policies and we're going to create the project. This will take a few uh, seconds or a minute for Firebase to set up our new application. And once it's done, we are going to continue. And now it takes us into our new market application. So I'm going to click the iOS here because we are building for iOS. And here we will continue setting up our uh, project. So it's asking us for the bundle identifier. And this can be found in our Xcode project. When you select your project name on top here, you will be presented with bundle identifier here. So copy this, move to Firebase, paste it here. And these are optional values. We are not going to do anything. Just click register the application. This will take another few seconds to register. Now it says that we need to download Google plist, uh, info plist file and add it to our project directory. So I'm going to click to download this file and let's go to our showing folder so I can see where my uh, file was downloaded to. And now I need to import this to my application. So there are two ways to do this. The first one is drag and drop to my application, which sometimes because of Xcode bug doesn't work properly. And the other one is we're going to add it to our application. Just make sure that your app, uh, file name doesn't have any number inside of it. So it should be Google service info plist. Because if you download another one for another project, for example, let's go back to our downloads folder. You see there is one in the file name. So if you have this, this will not work with the uh, Xcode. So make sure your application name, uh, your file name is as stated here. Then navigate to our Xcode pack. You can select our info P list, go to file, add files to, and then you will see your uh, project name. And this will uh, let you to add files to your current project. So I'm going to navigate to my downloads where uh, my file was downloaded. Make sure copy items if needed is ticked. And then well, I'm going to select my Google service info.plist and click add. This way we're making sure that this file is added properly and there are no errors uh, by just drag and dropping. I can command B to build and it says build successful. So this way our current project is linked with our Firebase. So I can click next here and then it will give me some uh, tips how to install Firebase through pods, but this task uh, part we have already done in our pre previous lecture. So we're going to just click next. Now it tells us how to initialize our project with a Firebase. So basically we need to do in our app delegate is to import Firebase. So let's go and do that. I scroll all the way up, I say import Firebase and then we are going to have this part here. Uh, we're going to configure our Firebase application which will make our project ready to run Firebase. So I'm copying this, going back to my did finish launching with options and command V to paste it and let's make it nice here. 
So right now, as soon as our application launches, we are going to start Firebase and then we can use our uh, Firebase. So click next. I just will try uh, run your application. So let's do this. We are going to run our application so that our Firebase part can see that uh, it's successfully connected with our application. Well, let's see here. So I'm going to put my password. All right, now our application is running. This may not take it from the first time, but basically we can just skip this step. As long as we run our application, there are no errors, everything is set correctly. So now if you go to our Firebase dashboard, just to show you what's going on here, we have a few uh, thumbnails here. The first one is uh, authentication, so uh, how our user is going to authenticate it. So we are going to set up sign in method and we're going to do this uh, with email and password. You see there are a lot of different ways to authenticate through Firebase and all of them are currently disabled. So click on email and password, enable this and let's click save. So now you have email and password enabled. And then if you move on to di uh, database here, this is our Firebase database, which is also called Firestore. And we can say create database. And we're going to uh, start in test mode here actually. Click next and click done. So this will set up our Firestore uh, database. And then uh, actually we're going to use three things here. We're going to use authentication, we're going to use the database and the storage where we are going to upload our uh, images for our items. So now our database is set. Currently there is nothing in it. Well, we're going to do, uh, save our categories here, save our users, all our items for sale, uh, etc. So once we start uh, using this, the first thing we're going to save here is our different categories. So uh, now we have linked our Firebase application with our uh, Xcode application. And the next lecture, we are going to start writing the code in order to save some of our categories inside our Firebase.